Yonko Luffy's nine commanders were introduced and Yamato and Carrot were not among the rewards. This ended up generating a feeling of frustration, as Jean Bay would be Luffy's last crew member in the final saga. But the truth is that the 10th commander has just won an entry pass to the Thousand Sunny, Boney, heir to a race linked to Nika and a dream, and she did something that only Luffy has ever done in the entire series, she injured a world noble and this gives us several confirmations. Want to know more about the new member of the Straw Hats? Stay with me, we'll talk about this now. And well my dear pirates, Luffy said he wanted 10 members on his ship and a spot remains open, and the curious fact is that in every new arc of One Piece a character takes on the role of being a member of the Straw Hats. This started after the time skip in Punk Hazard, whoever is older in this series discussions must remember that Caesar was the people's candidate to join the gang, even though it doesn't make any sense that Luffy accepted a crazy scientist on his ship, this it was a very strong theory at the time of this arc. And after that it was Law who took over this position and to this day you still find people who believe that Law will be on Luffy's ship one day. Then we have Carrot, the new favorite for a long time and being replaced by Yamato and Wano, and with Yamato we were sure that Luffy would finally have found his 10th member, but a bucket of cold water was thrown over the fans as in the end, Yamato did not join the crew. Vivi and Vegapunk currently occupy the position of favorites to fill the vacancy, but there is a narrative reason for each member to be recruited by Luffy, a necessary requirement to join the Straw Hat crew. We see how Luffy tends to choose his crew members not based on their power or strength, but just based on who he likes and identifies with. He tried to recruit a tree zombie and a unicorn at Thriller Bark because he liked them. He didn't even know Chopper was a doctor until after he joined the gang, he recruited Brooke almost as soon as he met him even though he didn't know his name or what he really was. And looking at each member of the group, one thing is certain, an unofficial archetype ends up being born, the requirement is that Luffy likes the person but the entry pattern of each one tells us what is needed, the first of all is that the character must having, unfortunately, a sad story involving the death of a person or people who were close to him. Zoro, Kuina, Nami, Belmir, Usopp, your mother, Sanji, your mother, Chopper, Dr. Hirolik, Robin, your mother and all the O'Hara, Frankie, the Builder Naval, Tom, Brooke, his crewmates, Jean Bay, Fisher Tiger. Of course, all of this reinforces Vivi's entry into the gang since her father, Cobra Nefertari, the King of Alabasta, was recently killed, however, there are a few more requirements that make a character eligible to join Luffy's gang. You need to have a unique design, interesting powers, relate to and believe in Luffy, and the two most important things are a profession on the ship and of course a dream. And then we come to Bonnie. I've always liked her design and her crazy age-altering powers since the moment she appeared in Sabahodi, but having Bonnie in Luffy's gang never crossed my mind, at least until I saw this. Yes, Bonnie did something that no one in the world has ever done. She injured one of the members of the Elders, even Luffy, the closest he did was punching a Tenryubito who is below Saturn and this ends up gaining more strength when we learn about Kuma's upbringing, heritage and folklore about Nika. Based on what we've seen so far, Kuma's father passed on the legend of Nika and her legacy of liberation to Kuma. He tells us that, the liberation warrior will come to save you, the sun god Nika will one day take you to the sea under the sun. Did you notice that Nika would one day take Kuma to the sea under the sun? And this legacy ends up being passed from Kuma to Bonnie as an inherited will, Bartolomeu Kuma's dream was to be a hero who freed people and through his memories and his heritage, Bonnie's destiny is now also to be freed by Nika and go to sea with him. Luffy only has the habit of calling the members of his gang by name, at the beginning of Egghead he calls Bonnie Bogan but as the plot unfolds we see that Luffy finally calls, correctly, Bonnie by her name. Bonnie, thematically, 
fits very well into the group, especially in that dynamic that occurs between the arcs inside the ship. She praised Sanji as someone who knows how to cook very well and she definitely eats like a hungry animal, just like Luffy. Sanji would certainly have a lot of work to feed the two if they got together inside the ship, which would create several funny scenes even with Luffy and Bonnie competing for the meat. Other important points. Luffy's connection with the Revolutionary Army, as Kuma is a member, Bonnie could end up with the Straw Hats and this creates this interesting reference between the two groups. And of all the supernovas, Bonnie is the only one who so far doesn't seem to be a direct rival to Luffy to find the One Piece treasure like Law and Kid were. She just wanted to rescue her father and get revenge for what they did to him, Bonnie is the heir to an extinct race, we don't know how much buccaneer blood she is running through her veins, whether it's a recessive gene or not. Or maybe she's a clone or any other possibility, but the buccaneers are intrinsically linked to Nika and the lost century, Kuma saved the Straw Hats' lives and now the Straw Hats can repay the debt by saving their daughter, which would certainly qualify her entry into the crew of the future King of Pirates. To me, it makes a lot of sense that Bonnie would be the tenth and last person to become a member of the Straw Hats. I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear pirate. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone. And until the next video.